any idea why he would choose this. Very short. Uh, you can easily do some fun zealot pressure stuff. Oh, I love it. It opens up for a lot of interesting play. And we are in the game now and in the top part of this map, in the blue trunks, we have Axiom Crank. And on the bottom right, our red Zerg, it's Axiom Impact. Axiom currently up 1-0, he only needs one more win Hold to on, did go you just into... say Axiom's 1-up? I said that oh probably... Oh god, did. it's 1-1! One, one. <laughs> well, Axiom is 1-up because... Okay, anyway, Axiom Impact. Impact. <laughs> Impact is one team, Impact is 1-up. Um, and if he takes this next game, he will be facing Beastie Cutie in the winner's match of this group. And it can easily secure himself a place in the semifinals. Crank, on the other hand, needs to win two games or needs to win a lot of games if he loses this one in order to get to the semifinals. It was a nine supply scout out of Crank. Um, so he's Ooh. going to be scouting immediately. Maybe looking to do... Okay, he's, he's going to be doing FE. Yeah, I was going to say, is it cheese? But no, it's not. He and, put ooh, down Pylon in his main, or in his natural. Speedlings so. out of impact right off the bat. Oh no! Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, Gets I was about to say. probe stuck there and almost loses it, but no, yeah. he's fine. He floats out. Uh, and Crank is going to go, is it going to be Forge? Yes, it is. I was, yeah, gateway on this Oh, he's got it. He difficult. sees Speedlings, so you need to, to uh, you know, Forge first yeah. against that. Very quick spawning pull from Impact, very quick speedling build. Impact likes to be aggressive and do these early game aggressions. Uh, he seems to be a very aggressive player. I, I think I'm going to stop using that word now. <laughs> How many right. times can I put aggression into one sentence, December Scum? Nexus first instead of a cannon first. Um, well, doesn't yeah, see any well, wings out. Well, I think, he's, I think he's fine with that. Like, he got the forge before the Nexus, and. Uh, that's about as safe as you need to be on the thirst of six pool or something. All right, impact, uh, impact actually drops gas. Okay, he's he's got his speed. Whoa, impact wants what? to end it now. <laughs> cool. Wow, impact giving us some entertainment or wants a very short tournament. Why is he spreading out his circlings? Oh no, he doesn't need to scout anywhere for his. Oh, he's gonna drone drill the back. He's oh gonna my go back god. With regenerative mineral fields <laughs> and he's going to mine that out. You need a lot of, of workers to do that, so you don't usually see it offensively. Okay, let's explain this. In the back of Crank's main base, there's something called a regenerative mineral field. It doesn't actually give you any minerals. Uh, there's 90 minerals that it needs to be harvested. Uh, they don't have to be brought back to any base. The workers just take them out as they go along. Uh, but they re they <gasps> uh, they don't charge up again. Uh, so he needs to keep harvesting those for a long time and he pokes with the Zerglings on the front to force out more defenses in the front so he can trick him even more and you see those minerals going very fast down now oh did he spot that no he did not never seen this on this he map is before actually. blind and oblivious to it what will he do with these workers now he will attack with he them they're not going any back expansions oh he's gonna be so sad <laughs> here what's up <laughs> here's impact oh no <laughs> So this Nexus will probably go down, but he's going to oh, stay safe in this natural, though. So I don't know what what impact is going to do to follow this up, except for just tons and tons of circles. I guess he can go for a surround on the natural after this. And speed is up now as well for impact. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh! Probes trying to catch a lot that of units That was really there. cute. If he were to t have taken out all those drones, he would have been in the lead. So this is a really weird situation because you may say that Impact's got this, but Impact doesn't have an expansion of his own, so they're down to one base versus one base, and what Crank has done is just pretty much relocate his main base to his natural. Um, so we're just going to take it from here and see how Impact will go. I think he wants to try and end this with a surround with circlings from both sides. Oh, no, man, they're all just going to come down from the... No, going back up again, a little bit indecisive. He sees two cannons and two zealots. Ooh, losing a couple of links there, that wasn't intentional. So he's just gonna go for a natural of his own and he's gonna try and take the game from here. Man, Impact, you're great. You're giving us a lot of entertaining games. I really Here's how you that. stop a Protoss from FEing. Take his yes. main. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Zergling's finding a spot that the cannons cannot defend, making sure Crank oh, cannot get any gas, gas up anytime soon. He can just like tech up straight to Mutas, and that could be pretty good. He's getting 
another hatch. Um, or wow. just two hatch Hydra might be really strong in this position. He can use the Zerglings on, on the main base to try and go for like a flank or a surround on the natural. True. Ooh, but okay, he whoa, has whoa, enough Crank. Zerglings to Crank, you to can't fight here. that. Crank, buddy, you can't fight that. And he says, watch me and I'll fight it. <laughs> But yeah, and he still keeps fighting it. That actually kind of worked somehow. I wouldn't have fought that. Um, no, I wouldn't have either. Crank does it. Not if it was. Yeah, he really or. wants. He really wants to clear these zerglings out from the main base because then he can retake his main as the relatively safe expansion. That sounds really weird. And and then he doesn't have to be afraid of the sandwich anymore as mm -hmm. long as he can wall off the the back entrance to his base again. Crank is going speed lots, one base. God, yeah. what is this, 2005? <laughs> well, see, this is the thing, though. Like, what do you do in this position? Like, if this would have happened to me and I would have ended up in this position as a Protoss player, you got to be thinking, like, how do, I, how do I play this game from here? I have one base now. I wanted to have two, and my opponent has a weak economy. And what do we do? And well, we have the Hydra Bust incoming again mm -hmm. from one early crazy game uh, to another. To hatch Hydra all day. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yes, well, it's actually very effective in this situation because you have pinned your opponent down on one base. You usually do this versus two bases. How much more effective is it, gonna, is it not going to be versus mm. one base? And this now is a the next really is... hard defend. This is really hard to defend against Hydras. This is, a, this is a better wall. There's only two types of walls on Destination, or at least in Brood War. The type of wall that is good against Lings and the type of wall that's good against Hydras, and you can't have both. And I just saw the probe of Crank there trying to scout, and he just missed all the Hydralis incoming, so he hasn't seen this yet. So this is completely taking Crank off guard, and here comes the Hydralisks. Now the probe sees and he just he's out of there. Sees the, sp sees the range Hydras. Uh, wow, that was a quick series. Impact just showing his 